Santos. What's going on, brother? How you doing? I'm doing all right, man. How about yourself? What's it been, like 10 years? It's been about 10 years, man. I was wondering, what happened last time I saw you was up at uh, New Hampshire Motocross with Chopper. Winchester Speed Park. Remember that day, that, man? That's it. So, uh, wh where you been the last 10 years? I've uh, been down here in Macon, Georgia, man, um, at Capital Cycles selling motorcycles. Yeah, I, I heard I heard about this dealership and uh, that you had all seven factory editions yeah, and ten yeah. brands in stock. I was like, I gotta check this place out. And then I walked through the door, I saw you, hey. and uh, figured I, I had to do a video and let the boys up north know where you are absolutely, in case they want to buy a bike absolutely. or something. Absolutely. The cool thing is a lot of them guys up north they still hit me up, they still reach out to me. Some people just hit me up every now and then ask how I am, and you know uh, I've been back home a few times to a couple of nationals, Southwick National, Unadilla National, uh, but. Uh, yeah, we've been down here in Georgia, man, just living life, uh, having a good old time, selling motorcycles. I heard, you know? I heard you're the number one dirt bike salesman down in the south here. Is that true? Well, I don't want to blow my own horn, but you know, <laughs> the trophy at my desk says it all. You know, absolutely. Yeah, you're, uh, and obviously you got a, a, a pretty deep inventory pool to pull, pull yeah, from. Yeah, absolutely. We got all the bikes here right now, man. We got um, from the PW50s all the way up to the 450s. We got all the factory edition bikes here right now. Um, that's almost unheard of for some dealerships. Can hardly even get one. We have all seven of them down here, man. So we have all the bikes, man. Consider this an invitation to come up to the Southwick National uh, if you get a chance later this year. And we're also doing, it's not public yet. This will be the first time I talked about it on video, but Keith Johnson's doing an MX uh, or BMX, like a vintage MX destinations with a bunch of the fast guys from overseas coming oh, over. As a matter of fact, we're going we're gonna, to uh, be sponsoring one of the riders. So uh, if you get a chance, come up either for the National or for the uh, event national that yeah, is going absolutely, on. man. I'm, I'm always a big supporter of Keith Johnson. I've been going to Keith Johnson MX school from, I mean, God knows, man, most of these kids were like eight, nine years old. We're taking them down there. Um, Gabe Gutierrez, um, Penancos, Coquinos, I mean, you name it, man. We have a lot of kids that used to go down there, uh, hang out with Keith Johnson. Dana Johnson makes in the track. Keith Johnson doing the training and the tutoring. I mean, we, we always had a good time with Keith Johnson. That's for sure. He just won the... Uh, uh, national championship in the 50 plus at loretta's last year oh, so that's awesome, he's still man. in killer shape and still can send that's it awesome, kokinos man. the student has now become the teacher i think kokinos is probably <laughs> faster than keith now he's been on absolutely, the gas absolutely i wouldn't be surprised to see him win us with wingling championships and he's qualifying for nationals so all, all those guys are super fast absolutely yeah kokinos is uh, one of the kids that i you know transist over the years um coming from mini bikes uh all the way up he hit every national that there was um he's a kid that definitely put a lot of hard work into it Coquinos, um, Jake Penancos, uh, to name a few other guys, you know, um, Carlos Michaels from down there in Cape Cod, of course, Chapa Borello, Gib Gutierrez, um, you got guys like, um, you know, um, Chris Murdoch, little guys like that, um, David Holland Rake, he's right now one of the biggest whip competition winners in the Northeast. Um, all those guys are coming from one of my stables from, you know, from the Massachusetts side of things. Um, I have, you know, quite a few guys from the New York area, Connecticut area, New Hampshire, Casey Stewart, um, you know, Cody Williams, quite a few kids, man. How did you end up down in Georgia? Line, I mean, line, we're, line, we're, line, we're a thousand, we're a thousand miles from home. And uh, the last person I expected to see walking through the door was you, but uh, you got 10 different, 10 different brands here that you guys represent in this superstore. Right. here at Capital Cycle. I got a bunch of, we did a bunch of killer videos over the last couple of days, right. but I Absolutely. wanted to talk about you. So the guys up north know they got a friend down south if Absolutely. they want to come down Absolutely. here. Absolutely. And it's always an open invitation for any of my northeast friends, the New England guys, the NESC guys, the NCSC guys. I mean, where, whatever class you race up north, man, you're coming down this way. Yeah, or if you need any motorcycle from down this way, we can provide shipping for you guys to get a motorcycle up there. Um, it won't be, it won't be easy. It, it's not hard either, you know what I'm saying? We can get bikes everywhere. I've sent bikes to Guam. I've sent bikes to Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, Jamaica. I mean, Canada. I've sent bikes all over the world. So wherever you want a bike, we can make it happen. That's for sure. So we're a thousand over. We, this has got to be, well, it's 1,043 miles south from Vernon, and you were north of us. So how did you end up 1,100 miles uh, <laughs> south? Did you get tired of the snow? That's the other thing. It, it's it's the first day of spring, and it's like the nicest day of summer right. compared to Connecticut. <laughs> right, it, right. It's, uh, I guess the warm weather is great, but is that Absolutely. why you ended up down here? How did you, Absol how'd you end up at this shop? So um, most of the guys know that we typically come down south for winter, winter training, winter riding, you know, winter training season. Um, there's a few different training facilities down this way that we used to hit up. Um, you know, MTF, GPF, of course. Um, Nario Easy Training Facility used to be a little bit south of here in Albany, Georgia. 
Um, Matt Walker have the MotorWorks compound not too far from here, about 30 minutes away from here. Um, so we used to bounce around to different training facilities. And in 2014, Mr. Banks offered me a job and he said, Marco, I offer you a job. I thought he was gonna give me a job as a mechanic. Um, he said, nope, you don't need no tools. You just need a pen because you know so much about motorcycles and everybody likes Marco. Everybody likes the Jamaican guy, I guess. So um, he gave me a shot in the sales world. I was supposed to be here for, for six weeks. Here I am 10 years after, you know, so, hey. <laughs> That's a good run considering you're supposed to be here for six weeks, huh? Absolutely. You found a absolutely. new home. He said, if you don't like it, I'll buy you a ticket and send you back up north. And uh, I guess uh, I guess I'm doing so well, I decided to stay down here in the, in the, in the Georgia weather. It's beautiful weather down here, as you can tell. You're hanging out in the tank top right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm super hot just standing in the sun. <laughs> so it's just one of them things where we have beautiful weather, awesome people. Um, the southern hospitality is definitely a thing. Um, when you come down here, you feel right at home. It's more laid back. Uh, there's a lot of racing and riding and motorcycle enthusiasts just around in this area. So um, in re just for an example, there is a motocross track every 15 minutes in any direction you go from this place right here. So you have Ichikani, you have Ivy's, you have Hillbilly Hills. Um, over here you have um, Paradise off of Skoda Road. Um, you have CKB. You have a few private, you know, private owners, private track owners, little stuff like that. So there is a lot of um, motocross riding, um, cross country riding down here. They have what they call the Sork Series, basically the um, the southern version of a GNCC type of kind of stuff. So yeah, everywhere you look around here, man, there's some riding facility, off road park, or just some trails you can go 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 bang it in, into, man. That's awesome. And you have an endless summer here, pretty much. You can ride year round, right? Absolutely. It gets a little absolutely. colder in the winter, but you don't get snow and frozen ground like up right. north, right? So the, the coldest it will get, it will get 32 degrees for, for two, three days, and it goes back up to 45, 50 degrees. Um, but again, you can ride a motorcycle all year round down here. Most of the guys typically come down here and train to hit the nationals or you know the amateur nationals or the pro nationals. So you typically come down south, you can ride you know 12 months a year versus living in the New England area where you can ride maybe maybe four to five months a year. Yeah, it's you hard to stay saying? in shape when you're on the couch for eight months, absolutely, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. down here, they ride you around. Absolutely, absolutely. So when it comes down to the south, the south, southeast, um, these guys definitely do have a little bit of an advantage over the guys from the northeast as far as seat time on a motorcycle. Yeah. So <laughs> most of the guys would come down, they stay in the training facilities around here. Um, and, and again, there's a lot of different training facilities around here. If you want to get a hold of Marco, just go on to www.capitalcycle.com in Macon, Georgia. Give him a call. He'll be here uh, to hook you up with street bikes, dirt bikes. You also have a big selection of side-by-sides here. I guess yeah, that's absolutely. a big part we, of it. We have one of the largest collection of side-by-sides as far as you know the Southeast goes. And of course, we're one of the biggest dealers in the Southeast. Um, we sell all the major brands, Yamahas, uh, Kawasaki's, Polaris's. Um, we do sell all of them. Um, any side by side you want, any four wheeler you want, we do have them in stock. Again, from the kids stuff, from the 50 cc stuff, all the way up to the 1,000 cc stuff, we have them. It's awesome. Yeah. So I just want to give a shout out to you know all the kids that have done it, all the kids that are looking to do it, um, all my friends that have done it for years, growing up racing. Um, there's no better family than the racing family. Everybody knows that. Um, the cool thing is, it is a good, clean family fun. It doesn't have to be dirt bikes. It could be four wheelers. It could be side by side. It could be a sport bike. It could be a cruiser bike. Anything that you want to do, it is a good, clean family fun, family oriented event. Um, this is one of the things that keeps kids off the couch, keep them off the phone, keep them away from bad company, keep them away from drugs, little stuff like that. Um, it's one of them things that it is the best therapy. You never see a motorcycle, a four-wheeler, or a side-by-side -side outside of a therapist's office before, ever, and you won't see one. Amen. Because again, it is it is good family fun. It is a, a, a wind therapy. Wind therapy, that's the word I'm looking for. It is good wind therapy. Couldn't have said it better myself. Absolutely. Marco, it was great to see you here today. Like I said, I, was, so I was surprised to see you when I walked through the door, but Thank when it comes to motocross, once a friend in motocross, I don't, if I don't see you for 10 years, it's like we just left off yesterday at the track, you know? Yeah, I remember you, uh, the last time I saw you was at that Winchester Speed Park. It was a uh, Loretta Lynn National qual uh, Qualifier. Um, back then I was working for uh, Chopper John Borello. Back then he was number 133, now he's number 88. You guys are always on the podium, uh, absolutely, for sure. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Big shout out to everybody that you know stood by me for years, who believed in me. Um, you know, all the kids that grew up around me. Everybody became somebody in life. Um, either you went to make pro, 
or you went and started up some kind of business or you worked with your family business or you're just doing your own thing, you know, and um, and I really appreciate every single one of you guys for that. That is for sure. That is for sure. Well, we'll definitely stop down and see you next, next winter after Christmas when we head back down. If you come up north, oh, absolutely. please consider yourself invited to yeah, you. Uh, um, I'm, I actually by the got shop. my time off already for, for Southwood this year. I know I didn't make it last year, guys, but I will make it this year. That's you for sure. Come I already have my check time out, off. And check out the museum. I, I got quite a few 500s up there. You'll feel right at home. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks again for your time. Thank you. God bless you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. God bless America. Yes, sir.